2017 Axis A22. This is in black with yellow accents. Sitting on a tandem axle trailer. Pretty mean looking boat. And it's in awesome shape. We'll go around, check out the accessories and condition of the boat. But uh, A22 comes in at 22 feet. It's a great size, kind of an in-betweener. Seems like 21 and 23 foot boats are kind of our, our best selling segment, at least here in the Midwest. And this falls right in between the two. Um, your trailer has a spare tire mount, full in jack and winch. Swing tongue. Pickle fork bow on this A22 has docking lights up front on the underside, as you can see. Nav light up top. This also has deck track option on it. So your gunnels are all protected with this grippy tape. Exterior of the boat is in awesome condition. No significant scratches anywhere. Um, up here on the nose, you might see a couple light surface scratches. Really hard to see. Um, but if we're getting really nitpicky, you can see some of that going on. But it, again, it's all it's all really light, like light enough to where you wouldn't really feel it with your if you ran your finger across it. Um, there's a small scratch right here. It's pretty light. There are four pop-up cleats down the exterior of the boat. Graphics are in perfect condition. We we'll also have gator step on the trailer. This trailer has the extended step plates. And then got another small scratch on the back corner. Really small little nicks, nothing, nothing significant. Um, on the transom, you have a stereo remote. We have fresh gator step on the platform. Um, this has the manual wedge, so you open up the gate to get down to that. And we'll look under here. Again, the manual wedge. Props all in good shape. You also have surf exhaust. So this thing will be nice and quiet going down the lake. Drops your exhaust down into the prop stream. And it also has a uh, um, one single white underwater light. This boat is also equipped with surf gate. So the surf system for Malibu slash Axis is on here. No significant scratches to point out on the starboard side. Does have the short windshield with the vents on the side. Folding tower folds backwards that has the pair of board racks, rotating board racks, and uh, four wet sounds tower speakers and bimini top. Let's go ahead and hop inside here. Um, before I do that, the transom does have a couple small scratches just from boards coming in and out all super small and light. We got steps on the back with a couple cup holders leading us into the interior of the boat. And we'll go ahead and step up the uh, interior. And my phone is having a hard time focusing. Here we go. The interior is like a light white, like an off white, I guess I would call it, with a light gray accent with black seat boxing and piping. And there are some yellow accents throughout the interior of the boat as well. Vinyl is all in really nice shape. No, no cuts or tears anywhere. Uh, we'll point out a couple spots where you might see some staining um, down between the seats, but the 
Exposed surfaces are all good to go. Let's hop down in the back here. We've got three cup holders. Storage tray above the engine. And it is equipped with a 409 horsepower monsoon engine. It is a PCM Crusader series. Great drivetrain. We run this in our similar engine in our Nautiques, uh, as well as our Supreme and Centurion line. But it has this has the Malibu badging, the monsoon badging on it. This has the standard ballast setup on it. Uh, I think it's 1,200 pounds roughly stock with hard tanks under the floors. But this does have a plug and play option on, so you can hook up however big a bags you want in the back. Simply the plumbing's already there and tied into the pumps. And then there's also plumbing in the nose. So you can get the nose bag for the A22. So if you want a little bit extra um, weight size, you know, add a little ballast and plug it right in. Um, talked about staining. You've got a little bit of that here between the seat and the back. Nothing major, but uh, we have fully detailed the boat, and those aren't coming out. Nice wraparound seating in the back. You can see we've got four wet sound speakers on the interior here, as well as a 10 inch subwoofer at the driver's feet. And there's gray carpet, snap in carpet throughout the interior as well. There is a full-size drop-in igloo cooler that goes under our starboard side seat. Your back center seat, you can pull out and it slides and you can kind of move it wherever you'd like in the boat. There are, again, some, some marks on here that didn't clean up on the boxing. Nice deep storage, communicating storage to the back. And there is also, if I can do this one-handed, there we go, transformable seating. So you've got the, the seat back, faces backwards here, and that will pop back in place. Can't do it one-handed, unfortunately. Um, love seat here. You can flip that open. You got storage under the OB for your amps, and we have the boat cover stored here, your batteries, and your battery switcher under there. And that seat flips back into place. Open glove box here. Just a bunch of storage under there. tower folds by releasing these clips and these inner the arms on the inside kind of collapse inwards and the tower folds back it is not assisted Going over to the dash and our nice big driver's seat with the bolster slides and swivels for adjustability and on the dash, you've got these little buttons on either side of your steering wheel to control a lot of the functions of the boat. So you can see open accessories, underwater lights, courtesy lights, docking lights, tower lights. And then we've got our ballast fills here. Analog gauges up top, multi-cluster gauges. And then in the middle, You've got a, a screen that'll show you the hours. This has 103 hours on it. Freshly serviced and ready to roll for the summer. Um, but you can control your surf gate position with the controller here, but also view what your current setup is from the screen. Windshield mounted mirror. And then hopping up into the bow, got two more. What sound speakers up front? Vinyl's in awesome shape. There's a bow filler cushion. And uh, 
Again, you've got the plug and play plumbing for the U-shaped nose bag that goes up underneath the seats here. One last thing to note, it does have a black interior deck, obviously, and black likes to show every little nick. Um, there's nothing hugely significant in here, but you'll notice a scrape here. Scrape down by our lights. And honestly, a lot of this is just dust. I've had it detailed, but there we go. Likes to show everything. <laughs> especially on camera, which is good. Uh, but you'll notice a couple nicks here and there on that black interior deck throughout the interior, just from you know, people using the boat. Pretty much covers all the features on this A22. Give us a call at N3 Boatworks at 317-845-9253 for more information. If she's water ready, can hit the lake anytime. Thanks for watching.